Aaron, you said yesterday that you guys haven't had your full discussions on what the roster is going to look like. How close are you to making those decisions? I know it's not due until tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're fairly close. Um, uh, just waiting on a few things to unfold the rest of the day today and you know, hopefully have it finalized by tonight. DJ said he was going to go through a full workout. Do you expect him on that run? <coughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, that's one of the things, obviously, we're waiting on. Um, so we'll kind of make that determination tonight. Uh, Eric, to your right here. With DJ, in Texas, he said he felt like he was getting a swing off pretty well. Is it a matter of the, the toe still is bothering him, you know, when he's swinging in the box, or is there something specific that you guys are waiting on him? Yeah, I think it's getting a swing off. I, I feel like he was still compromised. I mean, that's what I was seeing. So, um, you know, kind of want to see how he is today and, and what he's able to do and make that determination. Uh, Bruce in the first row. Aaron, what's your <coughs> confidence level in the depth of this lineup when you look at it offensively and the belief that you'll get contributions from a number of players? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you have to if you're going to go on a deep run, right, and be a champion. I mean, you got to get it from different places at different times. Um you know, we've we've gotten a little healthier. Um, you know, obviously, <coughs> we'll have Matt Carpenter part of things uh, as as a you know a, a good weapon off the bench. You know, you know, getting the Rizzo's back and and Giancarlo back. I feel like Giancarlo's trending in a really good direction over the last week and ten days. Um, you know, but it's, you know, uh, obviously Glaber's swung the bat really well for us here down the stretch. But, you know, it's going to take it's going to take a big, big shot from everyone in, in different moments at different times. And um, I do feel like we have the people in there capable of of hopefully doing some really good things offensively. Oh, the first row on your left. <laughs> how are uh, Wandy and Clay doing and how comfortable are you using them in high leverage situations as they come back from injury? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Wandy, Wandy's good to go and totally comfortable. Um, and then Clay, we feel I feel like is going to be. He's actually going to throw a little bit again today. So, uh, yeah, I mean they're both going to have to for us to realize our goals. They're they're going to be in some big spots and have to get some big outs. Uh, David, the second row <coughs> on your right, Aaron. Actually, <clears throat> this is a follow up to the last question. Uh, you've got Domingo going into the bullpen, uh, and and the next part of this question could be getting into roster situations. But how confident are you in Domingo's transition to the bullpen? And number two, even guys like Castro or Abreu, leaving out roster definitive comments, but could those guys contribute as well? Yeah, they have to. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think uh, you know JMO early on is going to be in the bullpen for us too. Um, Domingo. Um, cat. I mean, it, it takes everyone. You know, it takes everyone during the season, and and you're going to have to get some level of contribution from everyone in the postseason if you're going to reach your goal. So, um, these guys are all prepared. Everyone that's on there is ready to go, and um, looking forward to taking our shot tomorrow. Uh, John, <coughs> second row. You, you noted all throughout the last two weeks just how well Aaron Judge was handling everything but with all the pressure that kind of was on him those last weeks have you felt in the last four or five days maybe a, a release of some kind have you seen anything that you know that he did get to relax and did get to reset no no uh, I mean no it's, he's he's the same I mean that's that was the beauty of going through I mean the good thing has been you know for Aaron and for a number of our guys you know we've tried to take advantage of having some days off finally, you know, and, and hopefully that's something that serves us well. You know, we've tried to strike that balance between giving these guys live looks and, and they've, you know, racked up some at bats, but they've also been off their feet a lot and, and, and a time to rest up a little bit. And, and I would say Aaron, you know, embodies that. Uh, Bob, see it on your right. Aaron, <coughs> this is actually a follow-up to John's question. Um, do you think now that the home run chase is over, um, there'll be some normalcy to Aaron's at bats from now on, or is the bar now set so high that there's no going back to the to the old normal? I mean, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Well, like, I mean, fans, are, you know, we're expecting a home run in every at bat, and and you know, clearly, 
that was you know that was the vibe in the in the in the entire ballpark and yeah i mean, I mean this is the this is the postseason now i mean this right. is uh, obviously every pitch is huge and people are hanging on every pitch um similar to how it was down the stretch with when in his at bats in games that weren't affecting the standings towards the end there um i mean i i don't know we're like you're just uber focused on the moment and and trying to to be victorious so you know i don't know what the i think it's going to be the playoffs I, I think it'll be very playoff like right yankee stadium in the playoffs it's going to be pretty raucous i would imagine tomorrow night a lot of energy in the building a lot of anticipation certainly when aaron's up because it's aaron judge and and what he can do but no i don't think it'll be necessarily similar to you know when he was 60 61 and stuff like that i think it's going to be the playoffs I'll stay there with joel then brian <coughs> aaron i'm sure there's urgency no matter what to win in the playoffs i'm just wondering is there anything more in uh uh accentuated because you don't know where judge is going to play next year to kind of get a championship during his time here um i don't know i don't look at it like that at all um you know aaron and i have been together now for for five years and you know every year we've had a a realistic shot at this and and we feel that way now and and that's i mean we are so focused on the here and the now and 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 the present that that's for another day i think he understands that and has lived that and that's who he is you know our focus is on this team and and trying to be the last team standing so uh, uh, that that doesn't even enter m to my mind uh brian the second row your left aaron do you see tyone just as a long reliever or are there are other ways you can use him um, no, I, I mean, I think he could be a starter later in the postseason. Um, no, I think he could be anything from a long reliever to close a game. Like, I mean, I, I think he's he's in play for anything. And then this, this bullpen looks a lot different than the one you broke camp with. No Chapman, no King, no Green. How confident <coughs> are you in locking a lead down after, say, the seventh inning? Yeah, so I, I'm really confident in who we have down there. You know, obviously, we don't have the necessarily the traditional roles or even the roles we've had going into some postseasons we've had, but we do feel like we have a number of guys down there throwing the ball really well, capable of getting huge outs, and hopefully, um, you know, we can get them into you know situations and parts of the lineup where they have the best chance to be successful. So um, we have a lot of guys capable down there, and it's going to take all of them and. I, I could see a number of them hopefully closing out games for us, too. Go Dan, third row in your far right. Aaron, who, who do you have down in the bullpen? Have you finalized what your bullpen is going to be? We're, yeah, we're about finalized. We're kind of still letting some people know, you know, what we've decided. And, um, yeah. Uh, and, is you know, we've talked to you about, a lot about Cole the last few weeks, you know, the, the one bad pitch, the one bad inning. What can you guys do before, you know, what have you been doing to, um, you know, to help him prevent that in such a big game tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, it's it's more just making sure we're prepared, making sure he's prepared as best he can, um, you know, and, you know, focus a lot on all the good that he's done this year and, and even down the stretch. Um you know, obviously avoiding the long ball is, is, has been a bugaboo, um, but there's nothing we're doing like, you know, anything to s physically or prep-wise. We're leaning into how he's going to go attack Cleveland, and and then it comes down to execution. And if he executes, nobody's better. With Lindsay up front to your left then, Randy. Aaron, sort of on the whole, what do, what do you make of, of Garrett's season reaching 200 innings, strikeout record? <coughs> that? Really good season. Um, you know, obviously because it's Garrett Cole and because he came here and signed a huge contract and, you know, the long term and 
the ace of this staff, the New York Yankee staff, you know, nothing will ever be necessarily good enough. Um, but I think he's had a very strong year. The home run balls hurt him a little bit um, to to keep it from being, you know, I guess probably going to keep him from winning the Cy Young and things like that. So I feel like he's throwing the ball incredibly well. I feel like he has all year. I feel like his stuff and has been really consistent. Um, you know, the long ball has been the thing that's kept it from being a Cy Young season. And um, there's no reason to think he can't go out there and, and, and dominate. And, again, it comes down to execution. If he goes out and executes, um, we'll be in a good spot. Randy, the third row. Is is Giancarlo now healthy enough that left field could be an option for the postseason? And does anything change now that Carpenter's back that that could, if he could play left field, that could open up a, a DH for Carpenter? It's 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 possible and in, in play and or I, I, w- I wouldn't expect it in play these first couple games. I'd have a hard time putting Giancarlo in left field at Yankee Stadium, um, especially right away. So we'll see as this thing unfolds. Um, Giancarlo is going to, you know, kind of work towards that. And, and maybe at some point in the postseason it will be an option, but we'll see. Is he healthy enough to do that now? And is it we'll kind see. of a tricky situation because you want him to contribute offensively and don't want him to go backwards? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he's going to prepare. He's, he's, he's doing well the last week or ten days, and I think you can see it in his at-bats. I think he's got to another place physically which is good. Um, so we'll just see. I mean, he'll kind of determine that as he's able to work through it, and we'll see what Carp is and how much availability we have with him. But I- I'd be reluctant to put John Carlo in left field here uh, out of the shoot. Go to Ron and then Ed. How much shorter is your leash on starting pitchers in the postseason than the regular season? I mean, what's the situation <coughs> where you would make a change in – now that you wouldn't normally well every year's different every staff's different um you know i think for us um one of the things i feel really good about is i think our starters match up well with everyone in the playoffs starters like so i feel like if we're going to go deep in this and if we're going to win a championship i I i think it's because our starters pitched really well and probably pitched deep into some games. So um, every game's different. Um, Every game is different, um, but, you know. I don't think – I don't think my hook becomes quicker now because I I believe we got to lean on our starters. And is the extra off day after one and two and having Tyone and Herman a factor at all in your decision making? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to add in the back. That's what I was going to ask uh, Aaron. Hi. I was just going to ask <coughs> about uh, how the off day after game one may be altering your decisions with your personnel. Um. I mean, I guess it factors in a little bit. Um, you know, we're probably going to go uh, 12 pitchers, um, and, and part of that is having a couple off days in there where we feel like we can withstand that and, and obviously have some <coughs> guys that can give us some length out of the pen. Um, so, you know, I guess it, it probably factored in a little bit. Hard to say specifically how it did, but uh, – you know, I mean, when we started kind of voting on things and and getting opinions, like that's baked into the to the conversation and to the equation is this is the schedule. And what about Cleveland concerns you the most? Um, they do a lot of things really well. They're they're athletic. Um, they have a number of guys that run really well. They run the bases really well. They catch the ball. They can pitch. They got a, you know, really good closer and a really good back end of the bullpen. Um, 
And I think you're seeing a young team that's kind of continued to get better and better and better and, you know, played a lot of meaningful games down the stretch and went and took that division. They grabbed it. And uh, so they're, they're a team playing with a lot of confidence right now um, and do a lot of things really well. Um, and we certainly understand that, you know, we have to play really well to beat them. We'll finish up with the second row on your left here. Um, Aaron, with you and Terry Francona both coming from baseball families, like with your backgrounds, how do you think it affects how you feel the game should be played and managed, if at all? Oh, I don't know. I mean, everyone's, I guess, experience affects who you are. I, I don't know if there's anything about our background that makes I, – I don't know. I'm not sure how to answer that question. That's great. Okay. Okay. 